Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. Longtime Motor Week viewers have frequently heard us use the phrase, win on Sunday, sell on Monday. Now that refers to car makers using racing success as a marketing tool. But despite the gigantic popularity of Winston Cup stock car racing, manufacturers have made little use of it in recent years. Or at least until this year. You see, Chevrolet has just released its 2000 Monte Carlo Coupe, a machine that bears more than a passing resemblance to its Winston Cup namesake. So are Mondays about to get a lot more exciting for Chevrolet dealers? They are if the reactions that we saw while driving the 2000 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS are anything to go by. Everywhere we drove, we heard a common refrain. It sure looks like a race car. More specifically, the ground-shaking factory racers that Chevy campaigns in the NASCAR Winston Cup Stock Car Series. That instant connection with famous racing names like Earnhardt, Gordon, and Labonte is just what Chevy stylists had in mind when they pinned the lines for the latest Monte Carlo. The look is stockier than last year's Lumina look-alike with a deep aggressive nose wearing distinctive reflector optic headlamps and inset fog lamps, as well as a hefty squared off spoiler bedeck tail and a profile so close to Winston Cup spec that future factory race cars will use production sheet metal in the hood, roof and deck lid. But while NASCAR gets pushrod V8 power, Chevy opted to still equip the Street SS with a pushrod V6. But that's okay when it's GM's proven 3800 Series 2 V6. Its 3.8 liters now pumps out 200 horsepower and 225 pound-feet of torque. The base Monte Carlo gets GM's 180 horse 3.4 liter V6. And while its standard four-speed automatic transmission delivers slow but very solid shifts, we wish for an American-style long-throw manual to further cement the banked oval connection. Though on our flat test track, the SS also acquits itself reasonably well with a best 0-60 to 60 time of 7.5 seconds and a quarter-mile run of 15.7 seconds at 89 miles per hour. Throttle response is very good with the engine pulling strongly from idle to redline. Only the lazy gearbox held it back. The 3,300-pound Monte Carlo SS does well in the corners, too. Turn-in is slow and deliberate, but the car goes precisely where pointed both left and right. 16-inch tires and a tighter sport suspension control side-to-side -side transitions on the SS very well, despite notable body roll, and the power rack and pinion steering is accurate with a fine level of feedback. Out on the open road, the McPherson strut suspension matches precise handling with a firm but comfortable ride even on rough pavement. With a chassis based on the new Impala sedan, the Monte Carlo SS Coupe is solid and quiet thanks to body structure enhancements like a new aluminum engine cradle and stiffer sheet metal. Braking performance lags a bit, however. 130 foot stops from 60 is an average result for the Monte Carlo standard four-wheel disc with ABS. And while stability is very good, the ABS system is noisy when worked hard. Not that you'll think much about work when tucked inside the Monte's big, dark, comfortable cabin. The dash is ultra clean with a very practical layout, but even with low luster plastics, the lack of any bright trim results in a utilitarian look. No complaint about the seats, however. The front buckets are wide and plush, yet very supportive, especially on the sides. Our car's six-way power and leather are optional. The analog gauges are big enough to read even at racing speed, and the cluster is comprehensive. The optional CD-equipped stereo is idiot-proof like most GM controls, as are the SS Monte's standard dual-zone climate controls. Less garish graphics are our only request. And this is one coupe with plenty of rear seat room. Thanks to three added inches of wheelbase and one inch greater rear legroom, enough to keep full-sized adults comfy for a few hundred laps. And their luggage as well, thanks to the low-lift 15.8 cubic foot trunk. To help keep you on the road for those long trips, all Monte Carlos come equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system for flat tire early warning, while SS models also get standard all-speed traction control. Not a bad package in our opinion, though hardly a Winston Cup race car. Of course, it does cost a few hundred thousand less than one of those. Prices for the base Monte Carlo LS start at $19,850. If you crave the SS, you'll part with at least $22,295. We think that's a good buy in a big five-passenger coupe, 
as we grew to understand the appeal of the Winston Cup look, though we wish Chevy would give the SS eight-cylinder performance to match those looks. As do our friends at Automobile Magazine who said that, with its legendary name and its strong NASCAR association, the Monte Carlo deserves better. Well, maybe next year. We can only wish for a V8-powered Dale Earnhardt Special Edition that Winston Cup fans would really love. But for 2000, Monte Carlo buyers will still get a car that's capable, comfortable, and one that looks like a Sunday afternoon winner on Monday morning and all week long.